we can't ignore the compelling call of the mountains. If you're fortunate enough to live near the mountains, you know that same deep connection you get the first time you visit these majestic rocky landforms. As we drive in our overland Jeep Mando through the Alberta hills, we see the massive peaks in the distance waiting for us to explore the trails provided by the Provincial Forestry Services. The lure of the pine ridges and the sunlit valleys tug us away from our daily employers and head for the land where the true caretakers, the grizzlies, roam. These mountains are home to wildlife, wild and free. As we visit them as guests in these beautiful mountains, we feel an immediate sense of freedom, but reminded that we're on their land and must respect their habitats. I smell the warm smell of the engine as we climb ridge after ridge towards the sky. Constantly shifting from first to second gear, Mando continues to climb up the trail that hasn't seen light in quite some time. The towering heights to which we ascend are where the mighty eagles fly, and where we'll be sharing the open sky with them for the night. Today, our destination doesn't continue in our Jeep, so we must go on foot. We hike through the high alpine landscape with the many colors offered by the tundra and various wildflowers along the trail. We found ourselves in the heart of the valley with two beautiful lakes and surrounded with mountains on all sides. We begin to hear more and more rapids and finally the rock replaces the trees and we come across our destination of the day. A waterfall high up above the two previous lakes we passed on foot. We can't help but be in shock and awe of its beauty and powerful force. Nature has a way of reminding us how little we are on this planet we call Earth. The Jeep rattles as we descend down the mountain to find our camp for the night. Nature's powerful force is evident as we dodge fallen trees on the trail. Will our camp be in a meadow or near a stream? We won't know till we get there. That's all part of the adventure. Like many others, I'm sure, I have a hard time keeping my eyes on the trail as my eyes wander in every direction not wanting to miss a trail that may lead us to the river. And finally, we find our way down to where we will be setting up camp for the night. The snaps and cracks of the fire makes us gaze into the ever-changing colors of the flames with its deep reds, orange, and yellows. A perfect contrast to this evening's backdrop. Everyone has their own pastime when we get to camp, but for me there's nothing like fly fishing in the mountains. Surrounded by beauty for miles with the sounds of the water and the wind blowing through the trees, it doesn't matter whether or not I land a fish, just being in the water gives me a sense of calm and peace. The evening is spent resting and listening to the whispering pines. It was a great day and we're happy to be back in the mountains. I feel the joy of waking up at dawn with the brisk mountain air and the fresh northern forest smell mixed with the coffee's aroma fills my soul with purpose. No one can take that moment away from me and I cherish every minute of it. I watch the daybreak over the ridge and the mornings hatch entice the trout to rise. I look downstream and see this beautiful mountain covered with a light haze from a forest fire some miles away. I think to myself, I don't ever want to leave this place. Soon, we must pack up and repeat our adventures of exploring these mountains and honestly, we're not complaining knowing more epic destinations are waiting for us to explore. And remember, we're never lost. We're just challenging ourselves to be a little more adventurous. My father-in-law once said, when you've tasted the lure of the mountains and made, made all, all its, its beauty, beauty your own, you can never return to the noisy cities. 
without feeling lonely and yearning for home.